Call from mom. Answer it. Call silenced. Instacart knows nothing gets between you and the game. That's why they make ordering from your couch easy. Stock up today and get all your groceries for the week delivered in as fast as 30 minutes without missing a minute of the game. You have 47 new voicemails. Download the app to get free delivery on your first three orders while supplies last. Minimum $10 per order. Additional terms apply. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Have you ever covered a carpet stain with a rug? Ignored a leaky faucet? Pretended your half-painted living room is supposed to look that way? Well, you're not alone. We've all got unfinished home projects. Whether it's a door that sticks or a disorganized closet or an AC unit that only works half the time, it all matters. You just haven't taken care of it yet. But there's an easier way. Just download the Thumbtack app. You can search for what you need done and find tons of highly rated pros right in your neighborhood. Check prices, reviews, and book a pro right on the spot. Plus, you'll know what to tackle next because Thumbtack is the app that shows you what to do, who to hire, and when. Pull out your phone and in just a few taps, say goodbye to all those unfinished home projects and say hello to caring for your home the easier way. Download Thumbtack and start a project today. Jalen Thompson joins us on the IHOP hotline. Beat writer for the Kansas City Royals from the Kansas City Star, making his way back from Chicago. Jalen, welcome. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Well, we're doing well. It's It's been a promising start to the season for the Royals. Everything uh, this fan base could have hoped for. Uh, they sit uh, just behind the Cleveland Guardians in the American League Central with a record of 12-7, and seven, beginning a homestand tomorrow night, first in the Baltimore Orioles. What's your assessment? The Royals are surging, and they're off, like you said, a good start. I like how the team has really come together, and they really are playing in a team effort mentality, and everything has always been about today. That's their um, mantra that they like to go by. It doesn't matter what happened last year. It doesn't matter what happened uh, yesterday what's going to happen in the future. They're only focused on today. And I think you're really seeing that in how they're playing the game. You look on the field, you see several guys making plays that are helping the team score, run, move a runner over, you know, come through in clutch situations. And it's not just Bobby Wade Jr. like he was last year hitting 30 home runs and still 49 bases. Because at times it was like, well, if Bobby doesn't get it done, who else on the team is going to come through? This year you have – Sally Salvador Perez coming back and playing like it's 2021 again. You have Vinny Pasquantino playing well. You have Nelson Velasquez, MJ Melendez, and I can just name off a lot of players that are really doing well. And also the pitching staff is also doing what they need to do and what they were signed to do with Seb Lugo, Michael Waka, and the like. So, you know, it's it's three weeks, so we can't necessarily draw any conclusions uh, but are you surprised with the way the Central is going? You have three teams that are playing really well, and, and one of them is not the Minnesota Twins. And they're not just, I mean, they're not just playing well. They're playing well even compared to teams in the in the East and the West. So it hasn't been a bad division at all so far. Exactly. And I think this offseason, people were saying that the Central could be the worst division in Major League Baseball. And I was probably in one of those sentiments believing that as well. But as you can tell, with the game of baseball, any, any and everything can happen. And looking at the division right now, you mentioned the Minnesota Twins are really down at the bottom, I believe, in fourth place right in front of the White Sox. You got the Detroit Tigers playing well. You got the Cleveland Guardians playing well. So it's really, I believe, like I said, it's early, and people are going to come back to earth, and, you know, things are going to happen where – you know, the, it's going to even out. But for right now, it's really encouraging encouraging to see that the Central is playing so well. 
Talking uh, with Jalen Thompson from the Kansas City Star, the Kansas City Royals. Off today, they begin a series tomorrow night at the K against Baltimore. So you, we talked about the hitting and the pitching, and it's both been pretty good. Uh, where where are the, the the places you look that maybe you see a little bit of a, I, I don't want to call it a cautionary tale, but you see a little bit of a place where, Let's keep an eye on this and make sure these people continue to perform or start performing. Who are some of those players that really haven't hit a stride yet? For sure. Um, when I look at where the Royals sit right now, you really want more out of Will Smith, and you find him to be a back-end reliever, and he just hasn't rounded into the form that you thought he could be right now. So, But that gave James McArthur an opportunity to close games. And as you see, he has four saves so far. So maybe McArthur earns that role as the closer moving forward in the next couple of weeks and months. Another person that really should get it going is Hunter Renfro. And you've seen different flashes of his swing and everything. And he hit a home run on this homestand um, in yesterday's game, the first game of, of the doubleheader. And if he could, can get his swing together and, makes more consistent at bats. He's a 20-home run guy. That can only help the lineup continue to um, be strong and move forward. Um, there's also, like, what's going to happen at second base when Michael Massey comes back? Is that going to be – how do you decide between Adam Fraser and Nick Lawson? Um, who's going to be the guy that's going to potentially have to be – going go down to maybe the minor leagues? It could be Lawson, but they have to make that decision when Massey gets back up here. And he's been raking in on his minor league rehab assignment in AAA. So, you know, those are kind of the positions that I'm looking at right now. The bullpen, um, in terms of Will Smith and Hunter Renfro, they got to get going, and then what's going to happen at second base. So you mentioned earlier uh, listing guys who are playing well, Nelson Velasquez, and the Royals didn't have any stars uh, to sell off last year. But I don't think the trade deadline could have gone much better. They got Cole Reagans, of course, for uh, Roldis Chapman, and and they got Nelson Velasquez for a reliever. Nelson or uh, Quaz, I think his name is uh, mm-hmm. Jose Quaz. Um, so we've t- we've talked a lot about Reagans. What do you think uh, Velasquez's ceiling could be? I think Nelson Velasquez can really take the next step in his career, and you're seeing it a little bit this season. This is a guy that is hitting around 300 right now, and he's hitting the ball to the opposite field. And when I spoke with him earlier this this week, he said that, you know, a lot of pitchers, they want to pitch me inside because they know that they don't want to pitch me inside because they know I can hit home runs. I can pull the ball over the, over the fence and out of the yard. So he said he's trying to stay middle and middle away so that he can go where the pitches are being thrown. And I think that's a key indicator for him for him to take the next step because if he can continue to hit the ball to all fields, that's only going to help him as he continues to hit doubles, hit home runs, and really be that run producer in the middle of that lineup. Catching up here on the Royals with Jalen Thompson from the Kansas City Star. So I just noticed an interesting stat. Uh, These starting pitchers have been so good so far for Kansas City. They've gone pretty deep into games. They're pitching a lot of innings. All of them have a respectable to excellent earned run average. Uh, in their in the starting pitching, uh, 113 innings pitched. Those guys have issued 29 walks. That's a very good ratio. The bullpen in 55 innings pitched has issued 28 walks. So just one fewer than the starters in a bunch more innings. Is that a danger sign for the bullpen? I think that the bullpen can t- has to continue to figure out what roles different players are going to be in. And, you know, it is a little concerning that the bullpen has walked a couple of guys because the Royals record could be better than what it is right now. I and mean, look at a guy like Chris Stratton. He had four walks in um, Sunday's game against the uh, the Mets, I believe, that in that weekend series. And, you know, that's uncharacteristic for him to have four walks, and that allowed the Mets to come and win that game. Um, you look at what happened in the Baltimore series earlier this year. There was Will Smith was walking guys, and that contributed to, you know, the Orioles coming back and getting two come from behind big victories. If the Royals could have won those games, they probably are looking at maybe a 16-win start right now. You know, they left some games on the table. So I think that the walks are a sign, but this is a concern, but this is a veteran group, and, you know, 
with baseball, you're going to click in. You're going to you're going to be like the numbers on the back of your card. So I just think that they just need more time to continue to just pitch. And you know, I think when we get to May, when we get to June, when we get to July, that's when we're going to see whether it's it's going to be a problem or not. Tell yeah. that to Paul Goldschmidt with the Cardinals. That numbers on the back of your card thing. I'd I'd like him to hear that. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> So, yeah, I was going that exact same place to talk about the bullpen and specifically, like you mentioned, maybe just they haven't quite figured out the the, the configuration, what roles guys are going to have. But that's not necessarily something um, as far as personnel goes, not roles that you can solve this early in the season, right? It, do they have guys in the in the minors that they can bring up and down? Is there is there a, a temporary short-term solution uh, for the bullpen before they can start uh, maybe – utilizing trades to do that? Yeah, I think that there, there's some guys down in AAA that are like flamethrowers. I won't say flamethrowers, but they can they can throw they throw hard. And if you look at the Rose bullpen right now, and then we have a lot of guys that throw hard, throw 95, 96, 97 miles per hour that you need down there. And um, maybe they do bring up a Will Klein at some point for him to make his MLB debut. Last year, he was in the um, Futures game at the All-Star game last year in Seattle, and he's a really strong guy. They put him on the 40-man roster this offseason. He also could potentially bring up a John McMillan if he gets his straightened out down there. Uh, maybe Jake Brent, when he gets healthy, he could be someone that they might bring up as well. They have some young guys down there that are either trying to get healthy again or you know just trying to – by their time, but like you said, the bullpen is the one of the most volatile things in all of Major League Baseball. So, if some of these veteran guys don't control the walk or you know continue to pitch better, then they, they're going to have to make some moves because you're, they're proving that they have a strong team that could contend this year. Yeah, the Royals have gotten off to a very good start. I'm sure that uh, a lot of people are breathing a sigh of relief. So, in the wake of that. Uh, before we let you go, uh, it's we've kind of hit a dead zone with the stadium issue. When does that get back on some kind of a front or back burner? When do we start talking about that again? Yeah, I think that both the Royals and the Chiefs, they're trying to evaluate what they want to do next with the stadium, especially where, where, where it could potentially be and things of that nature. So I haven't heard too much on that front as of yet. But I I know that, you know, both sides, they, they said that they want to take some time and reevaluate and recalibrate. So whatever happens, I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do next. Jalen, we appreciate you getting on our show today. I know you had some travel back from Chicago. Enjoy the rest of your night off, and uh, but right back at it tomorrow, Royals and Baltimore at Kauffman Stadium. Thanks, Jalen. For sure. You know, I love talking to you guys, and I can't wait to do it again. Thank you again. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered Internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Everybody knows it. Toyota trucks are the stuff of legends. Rugged, durable, everlasting. Toyota makes trucks that just don't quit. And now, Toyota is driving that legacy toward the future with two of their most powerful trucks ever, the new Tundra and the all-new Tacoma. In a half-ton Tundra, you can rule the roads. From the comfort of a spacious cabin with connected tech and plenty of hauling power, the Tundra is ready to work hard and play even harder. Or check out the all-new 24 Tacoma, redesigned and electrified to maximize your adventure. With a bevy of available off-road driving and power transfer modes, you will effortlessly crush the conditions. And with the Tacoma's reimagined interior, you'll do it in style. And right now, your local Toyota dealer has more vehicles in stock and is making delivery on new vehicles almost every day. So don't wait. Buy a Tundra or Tacoma today. Visit buyatoyota.com for deals and more. Toyota, let's go places. 
We really need new phones. T Mobile will cover the cost of four amazing new iPhone 15s, and each line is only $25 a month. New iPhone 15s? It's better over here. Only at T Mobile get four iPhone 15s on us and four lines for $25 per line per month with eligible trade in when you switch. Minimum of four lines for $25 per line per month with auto pay discount using debit or bank account. $5 more per line without auto pay, plus taxes and fees. Phone fee at 24 monthly bill credits for all well qualified customers. Contact us before canceling account to continue bill credits or credit stop and balance on required finance agreement due. $35 per line connection charge applies. Ctmobile.com. 